Hi friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. My name is Sid and we do fun Sims 4 related things on this channel all the time. Today we're going to be checking out some more of those Sims 4 building tips from TikTok. I have done so many of these on my channel at this point, but I love to find these Sims 4 tips and tricks to share with you guys. It keeps me feeling inspired and I just generally love to see the ways that people incorporate objects from this game in different ways for design. So this is the house that I built for this today. It's pretty simple, cute, modern little on the smaller side. We're gonna be filling this up with all of the Sims 4 TikTok build hacks that I can find. And if you guys like this video and if you wanna see more of these, make sure you like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more of these Sims 4 build hacks. Before we watch any of these, the first thing you have to do is open up your cheat bar. So we're gonna go Control Shift C on my keyboard. Then we're gonna type in bb.move objects on. We're gonna type in bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects. Objects. <laughs> and this is gonna open up the debug menu so that all of the items that we're gonna be seeing today are gonna be available to us. So we're gonna start off with this one here. This is a bridge tutorial in The Sims 4. And by the way, you can find all of the creators down in the description. Their links will be there for their TikToks. And this one is by Tazkabaz. And I was so excited when I found this one because I was looking for it for such a long time. So we're gonna start off building a couple different floors and you're gonna see why in a minute, but this is how we're gonna get this to be actually functional. We're gonna be lowering that down below. Okay, makes sense. And then they're able to pull the pool underneath across, which is not a thing that you're able to do with regular platforms and stuff. Then we're gonna add some stairs, some fences, make it look cute, and the bridge should be functional. Let's test it out. So I have already built a little pool in the back here. I think I'm gonna have to like bring in my deck so that I can make some room for it. Okay, so we have our pool. I'm gonna start off building my room. So we're gonna get a room tool and we're gonna build two floors on top. I'm gonna delete the bottom floor and I'm gonna be deleting the walls for this floor as well, but I wanna make sure that that flooring there stays. I'm also gonna delete the ceiling because I don't need it. And now I have this like floating room sort of. What we're gonna do is adjust this so that it's over top of my pool. And then once I get it to be where I want it to be, I'm gonna use the arrow here and we're gonna bring it down until it's pretty much like on top, like a bridge. You can see I already have my pool there. And for example, if I was trying to do this on my own. Building a platform doesn't work. Building a room on top doesn't work. So you can see how this is a really good build hack. Now that I have my bridge, I can go in and add my stairs. Maybe I'll just do like these ones. Oh, it would be really cool if we added some wood here and then maybe over top did like a glass flooring from The Sims 4 Island Living. And then we'll have this really interesting like glass bridge over top. That's kind of cool. Giving those like Vegas bridges over top of pools. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna get a sim to move in here. I want to see if that's going to work. Okay, I'm in live mode. I've got my sim. I'm going to see if we can make it from one side of our bridge to the other. I'm going to select to go here. Yes, that's so cool. This is 100% playable, totally functional. No mods, no custom content. I'm obsessed with this trick. I just lined it with some fountains to see if I could get that to be functional. And I mean, they're not really going into the water. So that one's kind of a fail, but I thought maybe that would look a little cool. Okay, let's move on to the next one. One. This is a round pool trick slash like a heart-shaped pool trick. In The Sims 4, we're not able to make those like rounded edges like you see at the edge of the heart. So I want to see how we do this one. So she's starting off there with an octagon pool. We've got move objects on and everything. We're covered there. Then we're building a room. We're going to go to the walls and empty rooms tab and grab, I guess, like a rounded floor piece. We're making that heart shape there by copying and pasting a couple of those on top of each other. Then putting that on top of that room. So similar to what we just did with the bridge, we're going to make that float, put a trim on it. Okay, I see. And then we're going to delete the flooring. Interesting. Okay, I'm intrigued to see if this works, but if it's also functional. So I'm going to have to go in and delete my pool that I've already got. I've been playing around with different bridge options still here. And we're going to start just like they did in the video with the two octagon pools here. Then we're going to go and build a room. And then on top of that, we're going to need to do our rounded pieces. So I'm using this flat round floor piece. We're going to put it right on top of that room that we have. And we're just going to shrink it a little bit. I just copied and pasted another one right beside that one there on top of the grid. And now I think I should be able to just connect those to get that heart shape. So I'm going to go in with a square floor piece and just pull that across to get the exact shape that I want. How is this <laughs> like a little lopsided? Okay, there we go. I'm I'm gonna delete the rooms underneath. I'm gonna use my custom pool tool to just kind of make that heart shape down below. I'm gonna move 
that so it's directly underneath the heart shape that I made above. And then I'm hoping now I can put the fencing on there. I'm gonna use this base game one just going around the edges. And then I'm also gonna be adding the trim. So we're gonna get this trim on there and just kind of add it on. And I should be able to lower this down. So I'm gonna click on the room, use this here and lower it into the ground. Now I have my pool shape there. I'm gonna delete the floor. <laughs> Okay, this is hard. I'm gonna have to like adjust my pool obviously to like get to the edges here, but actually that is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get my sim to go in here, but I'm assuming I would have to like delete a little bit of that, which wrecks the entire thing. Even if I just try and delete the little one. Okay, let me see if I can get my sim to walk into there, but what if I add a pool ladder right there? Let me see if that will work. All right, so my sim is coming out here. I'm gonna see if we can swim here. Is she gonna use that ladder? She is, so this is functional. That is really cool. Honestly, I did not have hopes for that at all to work, but you can come up with so many shapes now with that, like rounded pools, etc. That's a cool trick. This next Sims 4 build hack is a really easy landscaping trick. I'm always looking for different ways to spice up my landscaping, so this one is exciting to me. So we're going into the debug menu, it looks like. This is a base game trick as well, and we're gonna be finding what looks like a loaf of bread. <laughs> okay, and that's what we're gonna use to line our landscape. Landscaping. So this is why earlier we turned on all of those codes that we had to use. Now we're going to go down into our search bar and we're going to type in debug. I'm going to open everything up, but then I'm going to get my base game filter on. And now we search for the loaf of bread or potatoes or whatever that is. Okay. So it took a little bit of searching. Not too long though. It's right around here near like the makeup debug and the books. If you have the better build and buy mod like that Simmer did in the video, this is going to be a lot easier for you to find, but I do not have any mods right now. But we're going to use this and I'm going to go over to the side of my house and maybe just build out just a like rounded area for my garden. So like I said, a little bit time consuming because I'm not able to like hold a shift on my keyboard to like copy and paste with this since it's debug. But I do like this look. It does look a lot like stone. I actually like still don't really know what this is. <laughs> okay, so I've drawn that. I might go in with a little bit of terrain paint for some realism just like inside that area that I've just made. And now we can fill it up with some cute plants here. I definitely think I made mine way too small. That's cute though. I like that hack. I love finding new landscaping tricks. On to the next one here. This is a really cute window hack, which again, you could do with a Sims 4 base game. We're going to be taking an archway, putting that onto our the exterior of our house. Then you build some diagonal walls, add some windows, and go in after and delete the walls. You could also add cute things like flower boxes to spice it up a little bit. And then you're left with this really adorable open window. Look. So I'm going to do that here to the side of my house. I thought at first that we needed to have like a two story home, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm going to go and get my archway again. I'm going to get my base game filter on for this. Since my house is up on platforms on the inside, it's going to be clipping up a little bit, but I can actually raise this using control nine on my keyboard and bring it up to match where the other windows are. So I'm going to bring mine up to about there. Again, I have like my bedroom and everything in there. So just bear with me. Next, what we're going to do is go in and on the sides of that, we're going to build our diagonal walls. Those are gonna be deleted afterwards, so you don't have to worry too much about those. And the next thing we have to do is go in and grab a window. So I think I'm gonna be using, I want one that's gonna match what I have going on already. And I think for this, I'm gonna use the Sims 4 Snowy Escape just to match that like pattern that I have, but I'm gonna hold Alt on my keyboard and get those over to as far to the right as possible. Just making sure they're kind of hugging the edge there. And then once we're happy with that, we can use our hammer tool and go in and delete that and we're done with the Sims 4 hack there. That is so cool. The bottom part looks a little bit weird. What you could do is go in and add like a window box like they do in the video or you could also go in and add like a shelf here and just like finish off the window with like a little ledge like that. You could put plants on there. That would be really cute. I could see this being really adorable for like cottages or something or another hack you could do you could add that onto your kitchens and get like a juice tray or condiments or something and your Sims can actually have a little takeout window. That would be adorable and functional because Sims put food on shelves all the time. I'm going to keep it with the modern theme that I have going on on my house here. I'm going to use this from the Sims 4 spa day and size it up. And there we go. That is a really cool addition to my house. I think I'm actually going to leave it like that. So that was the final Sims 4 hack that I have for the outside. We're going to go inside and continue on with these building tricks. So I just generally did a layout in here with like basic things. So I've got my kitchen over to the side here. We've got a living room. I have a bathroom to the back and my hallway area. I also have my bedroom over here. If you were wondering what the 
inside of that window looks like. This is what it is. But I just have to put like a couch there, some curtains or something, and there you go. Let's try this one next. This is a really cute living room slash laptop trick. So we're gonna be using this table here from The Sims 4 Snowy Escape, adding a laptop, and then we're able to put that laptop on top of a regular coffee table. And then we get this cute animation where your Sims can actually like sit down while they're on the laptop, which you can't do regularly on a coffee table in The Sims 4. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our Snowy Escape filter on. This is under dining tables. It is a Katatsu table. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this is where they like eat on those pillows and it's so cute. But we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna add a laptop just using this one here from Strangerville. Then I'm gonna shrink the dining table. So just like holding on to it, it doesn't actually shrink the laptop, which is nice. And we can replace it with a coffee table. I'm gonna find one that's low to the ground. I'm using this one here from the Sims 4 Mosquito. And I'm just gonna section it so that you can't see that dining room table that we placed. I need to adjust a little bit because we need to make sure the laptop is actually on the edge of the table. So to move it, you actually have to like click on the dining table. Okay, let's see now if I can play Sims Forever. <gasps> yes, it's gonna work. Now she's gonna sit down on the floor. Cute, this would be, oh wait, is that a blanket? <gasps> that's even better. What the heck? That's so cute. That would be really adorable for like a kid's room or something or a dorm, a high school dorm. I love that. That's a cute hack. This next one is a custom mirror hack. So we're gonna see how this one works. We're gonna start off by deleting the wall. We're gonna add in those panel mirrors from base game, replace the wall. Oh, and then you can use windows. That's cute. You could have endless mirrors with that. Let's say I wanted to add my mirror right there. So I'm gonna first delete my walls and I'm actually gonna delete everything surrounding so that my mirrors don't try and connect to it. I'm gonna get my base game filter on and they want you to use these panels here. I'm gonna connect it where I know my wall is gonna go and holding Alt on my keyboard, I'm just gonna make sure that they're following the line where I know the wall will be. Now I'm gonna go back in and draw my walls. I'll add my shower back. Realizing now that this is probably a bad idea to put a window here where the shower is, but it's fine. And now we can go in and add our windows and that's gonna function as a mirror. That is such a cute hack. You could make like floor mirrors with this. Jungle adventure mirror who? Okay, I'm gonna double check here, see if this works. So unfortunately this one is not playable, but it is really cute for adding decor. I am gonna try one more thing though. I'm gonna try this one here. This is from the new Sims 4 Werewolves game pack. So this one doesn't work even with the hollow option with the windows without any glass in them. That's unfortunate, but I do really like how this looks. And like some of these options work. Like if you were to plan your outfit, it'll bring you into cast. So I mean, it's like semi-functional, but a really cute way to spice up your builds. This one is a similar idea to the one with the mirrors where we're gonna be doing a built-in bookshelf into the wall. Basically, it starts off with having a window size down and that's gonna make like a hole in the wall. Then you can go in and place your bookshelves in there and that should be functional because bookshelves don't really require your Sims to actually go up to them. So I'm gonna attempt to do this one here, I think, but to do that, I'm gonna have to build out a little bit of a bump out there because we're still gonna need our bookshelf to be hiding in the back. So I'm just gonna adjust what I have already. For my window, I think I wanna use like a little bit of a slimmer one than I have right now. Let's try this one here from base game. So I'm gonna shrink that all the way down and then see how we're left with like that hole in the wall there. Now I should be able to go in with a bookshelf. I'm gonna have to cover that up with like a table or chair or something. Maybe we can use this one here from Dream Home Decorator. I'm gonna squeeze that in so it's right lined up with the wall there. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to like raise this up to make sure that it's covering everything. Now my bookshelf is built into the wall, but this one isn't functional either. That's really upsetting. I thought for sure this one was gonna work. What if I move it out like so? slightly. Okay, I've moved it out a little bit. Let's see if my sim can go up there. Really? Okay, I'm gonna try and use the exact same window that they used in the video. I'm gonna shrink this down. So we've got that hole in the wall and now I'm just gonna try and like put these right behind it. Okay, it looks kind of weird. Let's see if that's gonna work now. No! Okay, so that one is a flaw. Okay, so that bookshelf hack didn't work, but this one, I think we're gonna be onto something. It's like this corner bookshelf hack. So we're gonna start off using just two regular bookshelves on each side of the wall. And then this little kids thing, which I believe is from the Sims 4 base game. This is gonna act as the corner piece on our bookshelf. So basically it's gonna be a couple bookshelves. I'm gonna be using the ones from the video. These are from Parenthood. We're gonna be putting those onto both corners there and then we're gonna find the one for kids rooms. I think it might actually be under like the kids room
bedroom tab. Yeah, here it is, the cornered table. I'm gonna use that swatch in white. I'm gonna shrink it using the brackets on my keyboard and I'm gonna just hold Alt to get it into the corner there. That's fun. They raised it up twice. There was like a top piece too. So I'm gonna put that right here. Then I can fill that up with cute clutter items. I can add them into the bookshelves. That's really cute. Maybe not fitting the style of my build here, but I think some really fun ideas could come from this. The final one we're gonna try out is this modern looking headboard. I think this one's gonna be fairly easy and with good payoff. This is gonna be really pretty looking. So we definitely need a bump out behind the bed. We're gonna be going in with, again, a base game cabinet. We're using the back of those as our headboard, okay. And then we're using a spot A slab to go underneath the bed. I need to test that. So here's my bedroom here. I'm using the same bed they have in the video. I'm gonna have to build out a little bump out again. So just in the back there, I'm gonna do like a two tile one and delete the walls in between. This is totally gonna mess up my porch, but it's fine, it's for the video. Okay, so we're gonna go and get a cabinet. They used this one here from base game. We're gonna click on the little gear on the side and find the big tall cabinet. This was the swatch they used and now I'm just gonna rotate this using the brackets on my keyboard. We're turning it so that it's facing the back. So just one and two there, I'm just lining them up. So I have my bed there, I have my bed pushed all the way back into that headboard and to pull it all together, I'm gonna add that spot A slab. So this one here, I'm gonna choose black to match and I'm just gonna size that up and make sure that it goes under my bed. I'm gonna chalk this one up as probably not functional, but let's test it out. I honestly think it's the spot A thing making it not functional underneath. So let's see if we've deleted that, if just the headboard will work. The headboard pushback is totally functional. So that has been our Sims 4 TikTok build hack video. I will link the playlist down below because I have so many of these if you guys wanna check out for more Sims 4 tips and tricks for building. Make sure if you guys like this video, you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.